Come on in and welcome to Sweet Bay Lane. I'm so glad you could stop by. I'm Tracy and if you love DIY, crafting, or just enjoy learning new things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new projects or inspiration here at Sweet Bay Lane. But most importantly, we become friends. Can you believe fall is right around the corner? And with it comes so many wonderful things. Delicious comfort foods, bonfires with friends, and all those beautiful autumn colors. One of my favorite things about the fall season is decorating my home. And I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me. For today's project, we're going to be creating what I like to call a filler piece for your home decor. You know, the little pieces that just finish a tablescape, a fireplace mantle, or an entryway table perfectly. Now the supply list for today's project is very simple. First you're going to need a 4 inch clay pot. You'll need some Spanish moss, floral foam, knife to cut your floral foam, dowel rod, pair of sharp scissors, your hot glue gun, and three pumpkins in descending order. And last but not least, you'll need your decorative ribbon. For our first step, we're going to go ahead and measure, move everything out of the way here, we'll take our pot, and we're going to measure how much floral foam we need. And I think right about, you want to go a little bit further down, maybe like that much below. And we're just going to cut it. We'll set that aside. And next we're going to try and jam it down inside there. Let's see here, we might need to cut it up a little bit more. Put it in pieces, maybe, just to kind of fit it in. There we go. We'll add a little bit of hot glue to that. And basically what we want is we want it to be firm to hold our dowel rod. And then we will just cram our dowel rod down in. And we'll go ahead and just take some of our Spanish moss. You just want to put some glue around the edge of the pot. Stick it on there. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you kind of want it wild looking, natural looking. Keep gluing along. Whoop, almost lost my glue gun. Make sure it's stuck down. I think we need a little bit more over here. Go ahead and stick that down and maybe pinch it over the edges. I'll go ahead and just trim some of this off. You want it to be kind of like a little nest. And Spanish moss is messy. I will tell you that much. Just sweep that off to the side there. So now we have this, our pot, with our foam inside, our dowel rod, and then the Spanish moss glued around the edge of the pot. 
next we're going to take our little pumpkin here and just pull the top off of the pumpkin actually I need to cut mine a little bit here it's being a little stubborn there we go then you just want to put your foam pumpkin on your dowel right through the center and you'll just push it down you'll take your second pumpkin then you'll take a little bit of hot glue and you will just put it right around the outer edge of this pumpkin right around the dowel and just wrap some Spanish moss around there and don't worry about if it's long and hanging over you'll be able to cut that when you're finished and you kind of press that down into the hot glue make sure not to burn yourself next step you'll take your medium sized pumpkin Put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom I hope you can see that and you'll take the dowel and put it right through the center of that pumpkin and just push it down on top of that push it down on top of that Spanish moss and the other pumpkin and that is very very sturdy you'll do the same thing up here on top of this medium pumpkin put a little bit of Spanish moss around the top and just kind of push it down in there into that hot glue and like I said don't worry if it's kind of wild looking you can trim it later if you want to okay and for your third pumpkin you'll just take a little bit of hot glue and you'll just put it right around the outer edge of the pumpkin there and you'll just poke your pumpkin right on top and mush it down on top of that moss and it is just coming together so cute and I'm just going to go ahead and just fill in a little bit here along the edge just so it looks full around the pumpkin this is so cute oh my goodness like seriously <laughs> oh it's so cute I love this little thing I need just a little bit more. Oof, what a mess I've got going on here. Whoa, watch out. I've just got a mess everywhere. Move this over here and we'll use this last little bit of Spanish moss right along the edge here. Just fill it all in. It looks so, so cute already. I'll just trim up a little few of the pieces here. Look at that. How cute is that? I just love this. And so now for the finishing touch, I'm going to add a little bow with this black and white buffalo check ribbon. Just a simple little bow, just a one layer tied little bow. you can make it fancy whatever you like I'm just gonna keep mine simple so 
Then just add a little. Oh my goodness, I have Spanish moss all over my glue gun. <laughs> okay, and you just add a little bit of hot glue. And find your best side, I think right there. And then look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. That is so adorable. I just love how this came out. You could also have many, many variations of this too. You could have traditional colors. I just chose a little bit of farmhouse glam for mine. 